Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're going to be discussing the specific issue of will VAT be increased in the Kingdom of Thailand um, anytime soon or at all. Uh, I did another video on this channel about a year and a half ago um, where I basically discussed uh, the possibility of a VAT increase. Uh, I also did a blog posting where I discussed uh, recent announcements and things like the Royal Gazette pertaining to VAT and I actually got a lot of criticism for it uh, because well for various reasons but let me read a recent um, article if you will on tyvisa.com and then I want to sort of get into my analysis of it and go into my further analysis on this VAT issue sort of overall so tyvisa.com Article is titled, VAT remains unchanged at 7%. Rumors online dismissed. This is posted Saturday, May 26, 2018. Um, I'm quoting parts of this directly. It would appear to also be a translation from uh, prd.go.th. That's the public relations department of the Thai government. Um, so uh, ju I'm just quoting various excerpts from this. Regarding an article circulated in social media saying the government had planned to raise the VAT from 7 to 8%, the spokesman said that it was only an old article published in March 2017 and that it had already been verified as inaccurate. Quoting further, the sustained freeze to an increased VAT was primarily meant to keep the general public from being negatively affected, the government spokesman said. According to the taxation law, the government has to collect the VAT by 10%, However, the government has managed to keep it unchanged, he said. So I would urge folks to check this out, tyvisa.com or uh, tynews.prd.go.th. Um, but the English title is VAT remains unchanged at 7%, rumors online dismissed. So here's sort of my analysis of what's going on here. Okay, when we did the, we did the video before, I... I probably should have added some nuance with respect to this VAT issue. First of all, when VAT was initially created, it was created and it was proposed and promulgated at 10%. Um, however, they have put in temporary uh, what, reductions as time has gone by. And basically, as a practical matter, VAT has remained at 7% essentially since its inception. But it was done, it was done so the 7% level was set only on temporary intervals. So on a yearly basis, it's technically up for review, and generally speaking, when reviewed, or at least to this point in time, they have kept it at 7%. Now, I'm not going to go into a bunch of political discussion, but there have been various uh, folks within the government who have made uh, comments with respect to the raising of VAT. Generally speaking, those comments were met with, let's say, criticism from the general public, and for that reason, the VAT to this point, in my opinion, has not been raised. That being said, can it be raised? Strictly speaking, it can. Um, it can be raised up to 10% because it was promulgated initially at a level of 10% and it's subsequently been reduced on a temporary basis, usually on a year-to-year -year interval, back down to seven. So could it be raised? Possibly. Does it seem like this government's going to do that? Well, this most recent announcement makes it pretty abundantly clear to me that they don't look particularly eager to do so. Uh, but that being said, they have the ability to raise it up. Um, the, the question is, will they? Uh, I don't know. It's, it, that's hard to answer. We will continue to do updates on the topic generally um, as time progresses, especially if a uh, VAT increase looks to be in the offing or if a VAT increase is actually promulgated and sort of people just have to deal with it um, after the fact that it's actually been raised.